Like I saw it at a tackle shop in Japan that I used to go to and I didn't have anyone to teach me. Like all my Japanese friends just kept saying, oh, why, why would you want to learn how to do that? Like, you know, that's only for salty old fishermen. And I thought it was the coolest thing. And so I just, um, since I didn't have a teacher, I just started looking up Japanese YouTube and I got the gist of it. But it wasn't really until I started experimenting with my wife on how to, I mean, we just got really cheap paper, cheap ink. I just went at it and it was a lot of trial and error until it started to look like a fish. In the beginning it didn't. It was just black smear on paper. But then it started to look like a fish and then eventually we started refining it and figuring out new ways of going about it. Often when people ask, or when they, when they comment, oh, you know, you got a lot of detail. I love the detail. You know, it's a nice compliment and I appreciate it. But it's not on my priority list, really. Because even a fish print, a gyotaku print that lacks detail or it's messy or has fingerprints all over it or there's a splotch or something. If it conveys like the, uh, the presence of a fish, it feels stronger for whatever reason. It, um, it feels more lively. It represents that particular fish better. I'll take that print over something that's absolutely detail perfect. I was teaching a class up in Oregon and I was printing the salmon. It was a spawned out salmon. So it, it had reached its life's journey, you know, got there all the way to the end, did what it was supposed to do, and it died. And that's what I wanted to convey. I wanted to convey not the life of it, but the death of it. I did three attempts and I showed them to the class. I asked everybody, you know, which one do you think is the one I'm going to keep? I showed them the first one and they said, oh, you know, that's a nice print. You know, they're like, oh yeah, it's really detailed, it's wonderful. I said, yeah, you think so? I don't like it. And so I took out a knife out and I just cut it in half. Everyone was like, what did you just do? It's like, you know, bear with me. You know, there's, there's something I want to show you. And then I showed them the second print. I was like, you know, this one's better. But then I showed them the third print. And that had fingerprints on it. There's a messy ink splotch. Which one fe feels like it conveyed more? Which one, you know, there was a presence about it. And they all said, oh, it's that one. But you, when you look at this one, you don't see the splotch anymore, do you? Like, no, but you can feel it. That's what I'm looking for.